protocol. That's a big loss for Seton Hall. Starting lineup sponsored by Jeep. There's only one. And keep an eye on Daryl Morsell, the transfer from Maryland. He has been outstanding. He had 26 points in 35 minutes in the first meeting against Seton Hall. And for the Pirates, there's your officials, Pat Driscoll, Jimmy Lucky, and Tommy Morrissey. Go ahead, you've done this, everybody. Time to tee it up and let's rock and roll. Good crowd on hand here at the Prudential Center. It's going to be Seton Hall. But right now, Dave Sims, Marquette, goats a little. Wait a minute. Curious to see, Coach, how this team rebounds after Monday night. They yep. got spanked around by St. John's. Absolutely. They did not handle the pressure whatsoever. Nice roll in the hole. Oh, oh, good play inside. What a presence he's at the rim. Quet with the denial right at the bucket. Now they're going to use Quet to do a lot of screening. He's Obiago really zones up, stays away. Like here, there's no show. It could be a difficulty in terms of turn the corner, go on the rim. Kolek, and we got a foul. Looks like a move. Kolek, I think, on the handball, yeah. maybe, right? Indeed, yeah. that's what they got. I love this kid, by the way. Yeah, look at this presentation at the 10. Kirk, wait. Uh, a little get even, huh? Yeah. Those two at the rim, but this is well, the one they've been calling all year long. That'll turn you back. It's going to cost you. There's some pressure. You do you oh, see yeah. it, man. There it is. I'll bring that. it back. Turnover. You think they looked at the St. John State? What oh, do you think? You can't get it three times. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how they handle it. I don't know how anybody could play Posh Alexander who turned no. down a heck of a game, but you can't simulate that kid. No. But the big thing here is like blowing by and no waking. It's a difficulty. Now, Gadari Richmond is, you know, can handle the ball, but much more of a plotter. They need somebody to just explode. Kevin Willard. Telling us before the game, he's going to use Jamar Harris, who's more of a shooter at the point. Big time player right here. This kid's blossoming. Why not, right? Boy, that was a big time move right there. Justin they, Lewis. They've spent a lot of time, I think, developing not so much his game, but just his presentation, his understanding of what's going on you know, when you talk to some of the people in the program. Kale to Yetna. Looking inside. They got to get Roden going here. Yeah, they have been struggling. Six was last 28 in the home and home series. And they had St. John. That helps, by the way. He didn't shoot or prosper as we normally would see Kale. Yeah, Kale had, here's another one, had a big game. There's a big shot outside. Oh, I thought it was going to come back in. Like Don Nelson's championship uh, shot. Oh, great memory, right? How many of the audience will remember what we're talking about? <laughs> right? Lakers Celtics many moons ago. Don Nelson took a shot like that, and Ra Lakers ready to win the championship, and the ball went up in the air like that. Came down to the basket. They like to get loose going early. Nice little medium post turnaround, Jay. Richmond down low. Oh, damn. Boy, another block. Woo! I'll tell you, I don't think Ike's had that much leather sandwiches oh, this early in the game, anyhow. He's on the other end. He had seven blocks a few games ago. An automatic switch. He's quite the lefty from way outside. Nothing doing there. Obiago rebounds. When he makes those threes, though, even though that was a big ranger, he does so many other things. Cole turns the corner, finds people. Got a great hook pass to the perimeter of the corner. See if Roden, number two rebound and leading score. See if Seaton Hall can get him off number 14. Nice. Takes a drive Loose. and turned away. Obiago is where the rebound. Dangerous on the kick out. Kale, second chance. And the rebound, rebound to Kolek and Roden runs into. Not a good foul either. Oh. Uh, boy, this is amazing at the rim, what this kid can do. I mean, you can run a nice play and negate it. You know, at the 10, and how about this presentation again? Big time, rolling up vertically. It's so rare to see a guy who does so many rejections get rejected so mm -hmm. often early in a ball game. Turn around. This kid really has good vision, makes good decisions. Just watch him when he drives. There's that hook pass. Wide open, feet set. Couldn't score it. Are you and it's going to be Seton Hall basketball. So Providence with the victory. Eddie Cooley and the Friars 65 62 at Xavier. 7 and 1 for the Friars. How about that? Boy, what a turnaround for him. He was really down in the dumps last year in his own mind. Uh, got these guys organized. What a devastating start. 
Nice no. punt. Raves up. Look who's there. Oh, it's sent back again. Whew, boy, a block party tonight. Marvin, Marvin Webster's out here tonight, yeah. huh? <laughs> Obiago. The rebound. Kale. Shot clock at 15. Set up Richmond. This taking it deep. Oh, so nice up. Look up. Justin Lewis. Man Man. ahead. Prosper. Oh, got the jam. Now that's a drill they work on, believe it or not. They get it half court in the line and they lop it ahead, sprint, and finish it. Boy, an illustration of what how important practice is. Six consecutive victories for these Marquette Golden Eagles. Oh, nice yeah, little no. floater. But the short oh. Obiaga. Nice. Obiaga cleans it up. I thought he might give a stare. He, he deserved one, don't you think? Yeah. With such a presence. Marquette long and very active. Coming off a Sunday win over Xavier, 75-64. Could not get that to go. Yetna with the rebound. Uh, Seagulls has been struggling at the rim, but they look fresher, don't they? they look like they're more in tune. Yep. Well, they had to sleep on that loss to St. John's Monday. Oh, coming very active. Run blocked again. I think you'd take the floater. Stay away from that <laughs> big fella. <laughs> they have set a standard here in their early going here. Set a record, baby, uh, before the timeout. Uh, Roden, a really good offensive rebounder. Tough Roden shot. Outside. Uh, contested, but late in the clock. Marcel. You had mentioned this kid's played great, Marcel. There's a driver mostly of Look at this little hesitation. Oh, oh by smart on the reverse. Nothing doing there. Yet the big man leading the break. Kale blocked again. Another block by Wow, this is amazing. It's incredible what this kid has done. Jumper Lewis count it. Free ball. <laughs> I think you got to make a decision. Are we going to go to the rim or are we going to play five feet away? You may want to take a vacation for a couple of minutes. Man, well, the big, oh, man. The big thing is you got to lift him from the rim. Ike's not a, he can be a screener. He's not going to make a pick right. and pop. But that's one way of playing it. So, he, meanwhile, Quip just stays there and just builds a house in the lane. Yeah, there it is now. But I, I wouldn't roll him. Make him stay there. Almost six minutes of continuous play here. Trying to out shot. Trying to out jump people. Rebound. Morcel, one man to beat, taking it hard to the glass. Well, look who's there too. Big Ike ran the floor. Yeah, he did. Good Didn't job. get it, but changed it. Ought to be said for changing the shot. Mm -hmm. Possession coming up empty. Post up Cal down low. See, once again, Ike goes to the room. I understand that's part of the philosophy, but I keep quitting out of there. Cal short. In continuous play, take it's the opening tip. No, normally, you get excited about offense. I am really excited about Quet at the rim. <laughs> Two for 16 for shooting off on the field and drilling that. He makes those, he's a different kid. Yeah, Only at 23%, but that's going to come along. Tyler Kolick, little 1 2 1 1 here. Not the full court havoc we used to see at BCU. He was telling me today, you really got to work at that and believe in it. They got an easy one through him? No. No, not at all. The other thing, he said you can't press 40 minutes. No. They got to. This Cole is where he's good. Gone left. Leaves it. Big man jams it home. <laughs> what a show. Left. He is putting on Oklahoma's oh. loss again in Milwaukee. Three seasons at Oklahoma. Average five points, three rebounds in about 17 minutes. Man, he is having a first half here. First yeah. half, how about the first seven and a half minutes? And we bench. finally get a stoppage. Look at the bench for Quaith. Why not, right? Woo. You think you can get an easy one? Not much around here, but an opportunity here with the penetration, with the little lob and more blocks. And he's got a chance to build on that. We're early on. We had pretty much seven minutes and change of continuous action. Stop. Elliot on the floor. This kid has played great basketball. Mm -hmm. Willing. And coming in like a John Havlicek or Frank Ramsey going there way go. back, right? Richmond, what a yeah. that's a big dish no there. Play. Tyrese Samuel, uh, no big fella. And turn up. Nicodaro's going to be a really nice player. He's now subbing at center, can run the floor, can damage. And what a spirit this guy possesses. A shot of Shaka on the sideline. 
he put this team together in the summer. I mean, he felt Very the summer and the fall. They got to know one another, enjoy one another. Nice oh, nice. Whoa, man, right at the basket. Wouldn't go for Roden. And a foul on the play. And then right up in the hands. Real smart play. A little difference with that quake in there, isn't it? Holy change. At the rim. The atmosphere is different inside. He's coming back in, by the way. That didn't take long. Yeah, you easily understood. Foul is on Iguodaro. Number 13. Tyrese Samuel. Three minutes played in the first meeting against Marquette. Didn't score. You know, that St. John's game was not a game for Ike Obiago. I mean, the speed of the game. Right. And Samuels didn't have one of his better games. And not, not faulting him. I mean, the team was totally they got, off balance. Yeah, but St. John's. It was St. John's. Two and two uh, points and six rebounds for Samuels. Marquette with the ball. 12-8 early lead. Marquette. And there's that little matchup they like to go to. They worked hard in this getting to the middle. And kick into the corner or the opposite side. Pull it. Lefty going left. He's good. The hook shot. That's his deal right there. You got to jump on this kid's left hand. Transfer Make him go the other way. Transfer from George Mason. We've seen so many transfers this week, Coach. Got four of them on this Marquette club. Now it's sort of uh, the normal, the new normal. Right. Now you used to feel terrible when kids left, you know. And then another day, it's just another day at the office now. Richmond muscling his way in, got it to go. Overpower big time. That's his game. Monopolizing that three-second area. Four-point lead for Marquette. Might have gotten away with the travel right there, Kevin Jones. This kid's going to be a player. Great shooter. Really punch shots. Not afraid of the moment. Good move inside. Contact. Look out. Kale's all right. Here comes Seen Hall. A chance to go a little bit closer. It's just under 11 to go. Kale with a good burst of speed. Runner. Glass. No. Here's Roden. Pump fake got him a clean look. It's not his game, really. There's a driver. Not a, yeah, exactly. Not a consistent deep threat. Nice handle here this by Cameron Jones. Jones. The lefty. Quest rebound. Here's another free shot. Lewis. That goes. How about Quest? Very unselfish, not a really offensive threat on a consistent basis, but nice little kick. Seventy-three, seventy-two. Marquette wins eleven days ago in Milwaukee. And off the kill, boy, they trap him. Jackson, good shooter, pretty good recovery though. This I like him in his post area. Got three. Two. Two. Jackson lets it fly. Nothing doing right there. And it's going to be Marquette ball. Well, we got Quent on the defensive end, but on this end, Kolick sets him up right. The blow by. A little smooch at the rim and Kadari Richmond to get 32 a game. Now, eight is not a lot by their standards, but how about the blocks, the hurries, the changes? Yeah. That's all part of it. It turns their offense. Gets him going. 17-10 Marquette with the ball. Marcel. He's been quiet. Yeah. Nice good player. Very good. 26 Solid points tough. against the Hall the first game. Good defender as well. Greg Elliott in the game number five. He gets it back. He's got it off his foot. And they switch it. Roden back on it. Marcel. In for Seton Hall. Samir Harris. He'll be running things at the point. Two seconds left. It gets tough. He really understands the game. A great vision on the shot clock. Big time delivery. The double figures in four consecutive ball games. Good looking player. And Harris on the floor now can stretch the D. There's that little Dublin blitz, some guys call it. Trap. Gonna need a lot from Harris out of the point. Mainly a shooter. He's rich, been 10 on the shot clock. Good defense by Marquette. Roden misses iron is really struggling with that deep shot. Got to go to your strength. Yeah, he came Great in mid game. Six for his last 28 from the field, last two games. We'll replace on the wing Joplin. And a Joplin, freshman out of Brookfield, Wisconsin. Can make threes, got 14 for the year. 
He was his first signee in the sense he was going to go to Texas, committed when Shaka left. Came to Milwaukee. Nice so, clock running down. That's, that's a big time play. Big time. Whew. Time out. Kevin Lillard has seen enough with the way they're playing. Mose in downtown Milwaukee would be a busy place <laughs> after the ball games. <laughs> you know it. Was that great arena? Yeah, it's working great out well guys. for him. What a great player too. Great announcer. Yeah, I covered covered him when he was in Tampa Bay for sure. the preseason games. Heck of a player, Hall of Famer. All right, what's the, what's the uh, the Hall got to do here? They're 17 percent from the field in this game to this point they, they got to get to the foul line i think that's important so you got to attack post up there's a nice diagonal cut to the box see if they can get samuel going a little bit nice hands turned it over Good. this Godaro has loved this kid's game quickly to jasplin look for the reverse and it was knocked out of bounds well, he's got some speed doesn't he he had 10 versus bonnie's early in the year a nice attack here he's got a good strong body too well, this is just the first year for Shaka at Marquette. Boy, he is a good-looking so, club. So how are you team? Wow. Look at this. Deep jack from outside. Well, he looks like Joplin, the only gets seven minutes a game, too. His 15th three of the season, 29 per center. They open up a big lead. So they really stretch out that ball. Nice penetration. Can't finish it. But that's what they got to do, attack a little bit. Godaro with the rebound and quickly up court come the Golden Eagles. Uh, they're going to reach back on the oh, look at this blow blow by, as you would well, say. Yes, wow. Samuels at disadvantage. That matchup. Cameron Jones. Tell you what, he's got game, by the way. This kid, we talk about his three. He's great around the rim. Great shot selection. Big. A lot of time out there. Of course, eventually the final four. And Buzz, no question about it. This guy got them going, too. And Mojo had some really good years, too. And it's unfortunate it didn't work out for him. And Shaka coming in with a whole new hand here. All different guys, and you got them meshing beautifully. And I think the personalities fit, too, is what he alluded to today. What pressure. Richmond gets it up. Ooh, got the trouble. Kevin Willard said he wants to see Jackson shoot the ball more. That could be a big lift for him. Well, Marquette is really well versed on this end of the floor, though. Good defensive stance and everything. Road struggling mightily. Cut off with four. Got a deal from way outside. Can't hit it. Rebound. Okay, up. Big man. Roden. No. Nothing easy. Yeah, nice. Not at all. The big guy, you know, he always kicks it out. I mean, I'd love it if I was a perimeter guy. <laughs> you didn't play with too many guys that kicked it out for me, no. though, right? And this is my but, chance on the offensive glass. Well, Ike does a great job. Give you an idea of what kind of night it's going for Seton Hall. They're down to 15% from the field right now. So three things you need to know about Jared Roden. He hates onions. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I think he likes onions if it's his shot at the end of the game, though, right? I do remember that, too. When he, I didn't know him, obviously, but reading that about him as a youngster, what a Great opportunity mm -hmm. for a young guy to be a Knicks ball oh, boy. No question Can you about imagine it. meeting all those players? The uh, Riley 90s Knicks. Jones had it poked away by Richmond. Oh, the Apple. You see L.A. just stymie things there? Oh, they are so well tuned. Slowed the breakdown. Jackson. Kale. Man, man, defense is very good for Marquette. Six and a half they go road and looking to go inside. Fade away. Got one to go. That's his game now. That's your game. You know, eventually you get the going, you ring the bell a little bit, you get a little more confidence in your stroke. Three points for Roden. The leading scorer. There's a little, little match right again. Elliot splits. Nice pass. And blocked from behind. Get it to the corner, Lewis for three. Nothing there. Rebound, Roden. That's something he does beautifully. Richmond. Yep. 
Everybody raving about this kid. Big upside, mid post area where he can develop, turn around and attack. A lot of guys don't do that. Like to bounce themselves in. Uh, but here the ability to stroke it. And it gets the game going in the mid range. They can step outside. Oh, physically imposing with a lot of talent. He's got eight points. Looking good. On the inbound, turn it over. Well, they got numbers here. Four. Lewis. Mitchell in the game. Small play. Didn't have anything. Pretty much a driver. There's a lot of players here tonight. The left the yeah. end. Partially blocked. He's just yeah. loved it. He loves that little extended hand. The right hand off the ball. Got Got four. Got clock. And look at wow. this. Justin Lewis with a big triple. He's got 10. And over Ike, too. He knew he had the distance. They give him a two on that's a 28-13 Marquette. You gotta keep grinding if you're Seton Hall. He's gotta start at the other end too. Yeah, they gotta find a way to get going. Yeah. It's been a fine performance by Marquette. Look at the denial on the dribble exchange. Jackson more of a shooter than driver. Gonna say keep it right here. Now watching Lewis uh, as he's grown as a basketball player he's been able to mix his game up this year i think shock has got him realizing there's a lot more to it than just selling for a three like mid-range there so that post up earlier shot clock at five kale roden got to shoot it no good and they didn't do it that is a wonderful defensive stand by marquette and the Seton hall starting to hear it here oh, that's well. turnover number five for Seton hall well they are well prepared aren't they Seton Hall turns it over about 12 times per ball game and already at five at the 451 mark. Yeah, Harris uh, probably will run the show. I think Kale's going to have to do some more damage too. He can get the ball. He's maybe a ball screen, get into the lane somehow. It's a shot. Baseline shoots an air ball, knocked out of bounds by Marquette. Got a foul. Quit with a foul over the top. So foul by breath his first talk about how hot marquette is look at that six consecutive wins providence georgetown to paul seaton hall villanova a couple of big ones in there and xavier beat him 75 64 last time out how much easier it is to teach when you go in there with a lot of positivity oh, no doubt about it but harris at the point more of a shooter bryce aiken Concussion protocol unavailable. He's injured, and he thought that was going to be a bounce pass. It's another turnover. Nice In the fine. corner. Prosper, they really like this kid. A little dribble drive. It's a little nickel dimer. Power drive, too. These guys get strong. Low. They're very, they're very strong. We get that shoulder down on the hip. Just get a little bite a guy. Roden fouled his second. <laughs> Now, Rudy got the first foul in the backcourt. You remember that? Yeah. And it adds up. Like, he should have got that. Now he's a little bit of a hole. He's got to take a blow. Second team foul. Kevin Willard was concerned talking to him. He said, hey, these guys have found a good rhythm shooting threes. It's in evidence tonight. Now, they are riding this post up. Look wow. at this kid. I think him, you think he made glass? We'll give it to him, though. Yeah, we'll give it to him. And it looked like the defender might have got a hand on it. Look at his hands. He's got 12. This defense that has him in disarray. Need it. No. Rebound. Oh, good. What a sacrifice, out, huh? right? Quake with a great stick. Get it to Mitchell. To Lewis. Feeling good. Big man, quick release. Oh, my goodness. The smart. English was working for him that time. Pretty smart, though. Nice quick release. Froze the D. The kid's got great timing on this end of the floor, too. Largest lead of the game here for Marquette. Three ball. They needed that. Yeah, that ball. Take a deep breath. Mir Harris cross court cross court. wide open. Bingo. How unselfish is this team? Oh, they're doing That's his 11 3 2. Really good looking basketball by the guys in blue. Six for Prosper. Make that five for Prosper. Hand off Harris. Wow, that's good to yeah. see. He needed that. Prosper, Prosper looks like he's hurt a little bit here. Yeah, I got a little hit from Gideon. 
2.41 to go in a fast moving first half. It's been all Marquette. Lewis knows he's got Ike. He's got to put it on the deck and go by him. And what do we have? Keep it right here. Whew. He's all really struggling, but the ability of this kid with that low box area, he's got the strength, the hops, the physique to dominate. And Ben, great Cooley in Providence, played some point when Biden got hurt. Uh, really off the ball more often than not, but uh, having a terrific year. As is Providence. First place, Friars. Whoa, a knockdown. Morrell. Morcel got knocked down. Picks himself up. Oh, he does that, that great hesitation. And Ike with a block. And they got him to go to that right hand. Obi Agu with off a the block. Bench. Number 53 on the season. Two on the clock there. Plenty of time to catch, put it on the deck, and get a shot. Watch the back screen lob, too. Probably look for Lewis coming off hard. Yeah, I thought they might back screen Quest, but it's going to be the other way. Whoa. Nice hands. And blew that play up pretty good. He sure did. Kale trying to shake free. We got to have a good run here to get back in this game. The next two minutes. Look at Shock on the baseline. <laughs> Sprinting. Coming up on two minutes to go. Ritzman. And that shot there. turned away. Quest. Another block. He got him at four blocks. He's changed a whole lot more, too. Nice play. I love what they're trying to do. They know Ike isn't going to show on that dribble drive. But more so, can just turn the corner and take a, look, a little bit of a floater. Harris gets it over to Jackson. Pretty Whoa, good. left-hander. You know, gets it his strong side and makes it work. But also, he did use that rim, too. Yeah. Protecting against yeah, the put black fear shot. for the big fella. Under a minute and a half, 35 21. Well, if they could get it to 10 and give him some life going to that halftime. Robin, we played. Oh, man, pretty. oh man, that is some shot by about, Justin Lewis. I bet they are. Just a little replace, roll and replace. He's got 15 points. Averages 15. He went for 18 the last time against Seton Hall. Richmond, nice fake and turned it over. Quest again. That's him. He's right there. That caused the turnover, but this is just magnificent. Great understanding see, but big guys don't want to get their hand caught in that net or rim, but get him organized. What a show he is putting on. What a load. Comfortable stroke from deep. Mm -hmm. But he, he's got the other things going yep. and the confidence now to step out and make them. That you know, all stems from shocking the staff. Seven turnovers for Seton Hall. Final minute of play here, first half. And keep this kid out of the lane. Ooh, boy, steps up. Back rim, no. They do two for one, though. And a breakout. Almost picked yeah. off right here. Harris. They know you got to make him put it on the deck. They got a mismatch in the post, so maybe get an offensive rebound out of it. Harris, no rebound. Goes to Morcell. 38 21. They'll hold for one. Well, what a solid half they've had. I know this crowd is disappointed in Seton Hall. It's been a magnificent effort. We talked about the depth at the beginning of this team. Playing together, connected. Morcell, nice change of direction. Fade, fire, no rebound. Jackson with two seconds with one lets it fly from there. Wow. Well, they could have used it too. Yeah, right? <laughs> Give him a breath of fresh air. <laughs> All Marquette in the first half. They did a lot of things right. As solid. And Clint has been magnificent. Six block shots, career best seven in a game. And that was in the first, I think he had four in the first <laughs> seven minutes. Before the first media timeout. Line drive, no good, and a rebound loss, save. Nice job by Yetna. They got to get him going, too. Here's Richmond. Richmond loses, turns it over. Wow, cross court. What a look, what a find. Couldn't make it cut off, rebound. But a rebound. Lewis gets it back outside. There's a three. 
That has been money tonight. Absolute money tonight. Biggest lead. Enjoy it. By the Golden Eagles. Prosper hits that big three. Just great anticipation on this end of the floor by Marquette. Kale way outside. Got to get him going. That's it. That's the roll. Put it on the deck and be creative. Just his second field goal tonight. He's got five. Five points on the evening. You got to fragment this half of your seat. Hall. What can we do in the first four? And so on. A nice bite. Top range jumper. And that's what happens when you start making those threes, right? The challenge is there. You're not coming out on balance. 17 for Lewis. Richmond found in the dribble. And boy, again, Bruce Aiken, uh, Bryce Aiken, concussion protocol. That's his game right there. That's yeah. what he's got to do. Get back to basics. This kid's a talented guy. He's had a terrific career and a turnover to backcourt. Richmond oh, with the jam. Oh, pressure. Yeah, you're right about Roden. Roden went one for nine from the field in the first half. And then Jack, and jacked up some threes that are in a couple of them anyhow that were not within the framework. High post. Request. Six block shots in the first half. Lewis. Big man. Quick flip is good. Nice look to Lewis doing it all. Filling the sheet. Well, he's got six points. Going along with the six block shots. That's all he has to do is hit that floater. That looks so good. And others, Marcel as well. Dribble driving fine. Roden, the leading scorer. They really have to get him going. Kale. Tough shot. Nothing doing there. And the other. Roden. Back it out again. Good defense. Prosper. Got to attack. He gets the free throw line. Get some opportunities, but the other end, just solid. A little gamble by Roden on the top side. And just becoming available. But Lewis, you name it. Well, there's stars tonight. They've come to play. 17 points, two rebounds. Look at that. 7 for 11 from the field. Six blocks. Mm. Immediate impact. Such a presence. Nip away. That's what you got to do if you're the hall. Roden 82% at the line. Average 14 at 6 last year. 12 points and 3 rebounds in the first game at Marquette. That was a 73-72 Marquette win. Nice D again. Kale this time. Here comes Richmond. In the corner. Roden. Oh, tough shot. Under the he hit it. Wow. Well, he got it to him with the mid-range game. Things start to happen positively. But if you come out looking for tough shots, contest it. But uh, Roden, he's the leader of this team. He's protocol, as they say. Speedy recovery. All right now, see, he's also a little bit of life, though. Yeah, they needed it. Roden and Kevin Willard to see him. leading score go for seven points now. Two for two from the field here in the second half. He hit his three-point shot and a couple of free throws. So. No, two, two, two shooting to this point here in the early going second half. On a 2 2 1, they've done a nice job poking from the behind of the dribbler. Kolik beats the press. This is when you make the opponent start thinking a little bit. You know, is this a good shot? Should I take it? When it's going really good, there's that little mark is play freewheeling and they replace the pump fake. Marcel, three ball, in and out. Oh, good. not a good foul. But went Quet. for the steal. Yeah. Kurt Quet, that's his second. He should know his game is not waist time. It's sky high. Right? Get those up there. And run back. Upper atmosphere. He's done a heck of a job. Oh, Six sure block is. shots in this game. Fourth off his career best in the game. Richmond probing. A little high five roll. He gets some movement. Pounding the dribblers, Roden. Kale with 10 on the shot clock. Found an avenue for That's a difficult shot. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, nice shot by Preston. Wow, I got him out there. Wow, let him play. There Woo. was a bump. He attacked the defender. 
Didn't get anything short of a tough shot. Roden, that seems to be his best uh, deal. That's his game, no question about it, Dave. But now, all of a sudden, Marquette, a little more hesitant, a little more unsure. Is where Bullock has got to get them in order. 7 0 run by Seton Hall. It's been all road 45 34. Automatic switch into this matchup. Tough shot under the big guy. Michelle couldn't get it to go, and Kale took a shot in the nose. Second engine third. Oh, what a great run for this four and change by the Hall. Richmond. First glass, no, they attack the glass. We got numbers two on one. Nice gift back, Lewis. He's in there and he goes up and he gets fouled. Not a good pass by Golick. That little hit the popsicle stick pass. Uh, you got to make a nice smooth chest pass, let him go strong to the goal. Uh, but we've been looking for Roden to play his game. He certainly gets Marquette team, happens to be nine of those 12 points here in the second half on three for three shooting. He went one for nine. <laughs> In the field in the first half. This is why these games are important for both teams. But Marquette now, well, who's going to be the guy that's going to get them organized? They're going to run at you. What kind of shots do we want? Of course, not a bad choice getting Lewis involved. Lewis 77% at the line. 6'7 freshman, Baltimore from Polytechnic. But he is a strong looking kid, isn't he? Yeah. He'll go right to the pressure. Here's Marquette's first free throw of the game. Kadari good at getting in the lane. If they continue to look for Roden, a good matchup right here. Little baseline bumps. And yet they didn't dig in. Roden trying to beat a couple tough guys. Shot. That's very tough. Shot. That's not a good one. Prosper. Good defense. Nice hands Roden by Roden. Spills. And gives it up. Watch Harris on the wing. Got nothing, and nice job. Knock it away momentarily. Okay, Jones did a nice job containing. Where is Yetna? 16 shot clock. In the corner, Roden passed up the shot. Took the fadeaway. Nothing there. Rebound. I still like the shot selection, though, don't you? Moved it in a little bit better. He, he seems to be more comfortable in the move. Absolutely. Igadoro. Gets it to Prosper. To Lewis. Nice pump. Elliott comes to meet the ball at nine on the shot clock. Nice oh, call. Oh, goodness. It was short, maybe. Oh, short. short. Short, yeah. Good yeah. not call. Gave me lucky. Had a good look at it from not too far from us. Way outside. Harris. Why not? good. Why not? Give him some touches. The mirror. Harris. Packing away, they got it down to 10. They trailed by as many as 20. Crowd into it here. In New, New Jersey. Because when you score, you can change that D. They went for that little 2 2 1. Lewis. Lewis up by Igadoro gets the loose ball and it'll be a foul. That'll be good, Kadari. Richmond, yep, number zero. How about this, huh? Uh, Chris Elliott back to protect didn't close quick enough to make you pay mightily but at the summit goodness Ike Showing some quick maneuvers indeed Kadari Richmond with the foul Four blocks for Ike Crowd into it. Chaplin into the game. Fires. Left a little short. Rebound. Prosper in the corner. Pump nice fake. Fake. Short jumper. Left it short. Ike got the rebound. Here comes Seton Hall. Ten point deficit now. Down from 20. Richmond in traffic. Roden's been the man on the run. Ready. I love the patience of Richmond. And obviously the bounce ability of Roden in the lane. Well, two run team mainly by Jared Roden. Got it inside of 10. Really don't have a point guard out there. Elliott's going to have to run it. Timeout, Marquette. 
He's got to get Kolek back in there to run the show. They are just not as efficient. But Roden showed his innate ability. Not settling. I think he and the coaches have suggested to change the mode of operation offensively. And he has acquiesced and, and done a good job in that mid post area. It looks like a little bit of a matchup. And Golik back on the floor. They need him, his direction. One of the primary things that Dr. Smart wanted to do during that timeout, stop the momentum. And Lewis out here, he can elevate over any of the outside people if need be. Like Drive this. By Ike. And Harris gets him like that. Five on the shot clock. Now Harris with the foul. That's his first. Nice to have a go-to option, though, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. And he just can manhandle people. That physique. Fair side. Get out of his way. Back when we're strong. Uh, Kevin yeah. Willard. Trying week for him. Uh, yeah. You know, those are so excited about Saturday, the St. John's game, of course, came up flat with a great St. John's performance and then coming out the same in the first half. Yeah, you know it. Neither team in the St. John's home and home, a rare college home and home. Neither team held serve at home. Mm -hmm. They did some job at halftime here. They have a different team. Richmond. Oh, nice denial. Got to stop the ball. Lewis sets up Jones, the lefty from deep, and he hits. His arch is humble. It's an unusual release, <laughs> but extremely effective. 38 percent from deep. Big counter right there. Gets it back to beyond 10 with the lead. Nice cross. Richmond Roden has been the man of the hour offensively for Seton Hall. It's up with the ISO. They gap deep pretty good, this team. This is a yeah. guy they got to get going, too. That's been a pretty good offensive player, too. Shot shot here. Five. Richmond line drive in and out. Good check and out. Kolek comes up with the loose ball. This is a big stop by the Seton Hall. Feeling it. Let's it rip. Got yeah, that's big. That's a really big time early dagger. 7 0 run by Marquette. Lewis now. Uh, He's got 23 points, and boy, that was a big time response by Justin Lewis. Boy, they took the hit. They kept on ticking, though. And just solid play by this kid all around. Nice to see that quad one win at the Hall. Another opportunity this week. And I thought Villanova was sharp last night. Oh, they were. Justin Lewis, he's on a good run. Big part of the 7-0 run. He's got 23 points matching his career best. Kind of response to Seton Hall get Harris. At a nice bit slip. Earlier. Mm. Nice little play, though. Little dribble, slip. Shamby will able to convert, but gets a chance to two. This is how you get back in. Stop the clock, get to the free throw line. Execute your offense. Of course, Fallon Lewis, team third. Tyree Samuel. He's got the best field goal percentage of all the regulars for Seton Hall. Just the 63% free throw shooter. Funny, he can stroke him at times. Then an unusual miss, you know. Yeah. Dead left on that one. Averages 8.6 rebounds. One out of two. Trying to get something out of the defense here. Jones gets it across. Pretty good handler. This is a guy to get some ticket up. The left hander. He said that jump took left passes. Very effective for him. Jones three ball. Go for a second. Got back to back from the same spot. Got to hug, hug that kid. Oh, can't leave him open. Cam Jones with the bucket. He's got eight. Yet in a long time since he took a shot, misses that one, and it's going to be a foul on Iguodala. Iguodala, but this is just a nice little. Sequence a little dribble drive, get a touch in the lane, collapse the D. Big time delivery. Once again, Lewis showing you his game, all aspects with that fine. Iguodaro out, Quest back in. Iguodaro third foul. Try to get it to Roden. They do. Quest is there. Block. He got a piece. Better look out. That's seven blocks. 
His career best in matching that number. Seven blocks in a game. He's got 10 minutes to go. They got the mismatch here. They oh, want to use Lewis, yeah, with Harris. Nice help. And what do we have? He, he was on his strong hand. He did. He got a block. You know, when you think of it, you'd rather him go for the two and right. contest him and stay at home on a perimeter because he does a great job locating people. Pollock at the line. It's been a good, good game here for that young man, is Lewis. I what the numbers are. Huh? Best. Be interesting. Is it Marquette Providence Saturday, right? If I'm yeah. not mistaken. I believe so. Yeah, that, that's. They get through this one. It'll be a big time event. Stevie Mitchell returning. Number four. There he places Cam Jones. Cam Jones, nice contribution. Eight points. He's hit two threes. Well, he's a good player. Really solid. I think they use that early drag screen for him to get going. Of course, space him out. Bullock's got seven with that free throw. 59 to 40. Biggest lead has been 20. Got it inside 10. But another recent surge here by Marquette. Here's Roden. Nice. The double team. Nice screen. Pretty. Going all the way. Oh, the jam. Justin Lewis. He's got 25. And the biggest lead now at 21 points. All set up by Mitchell. Jump in the passing lane. A turnover. Bad exchange. Watch him pass. And the foul looks like they'll get Roden. Bowling had options there, but it was Lewis. Look at this. Beautiful read and the ability to open floor. Ah! Send it in, big fella. Whew. He has shown you all of his weapons big time. Career best 25 points now. And back to a comfortable lead for Marquette. It was interesting about that play. Golik had options too. He had Marcel on the wing. It was Lewis attacking. Like Lionel Simmons, big trade. Oh, yeah. No, with LaSalle. So that's what I'm saying. You got to stay in the game. Kale. Those hard block. Oh, a foul in the play. Marcel well, can't believe it. I'm with him on that one. Don't you think? Unless they saw a body that I didn't see. He's in disbelief. Yeah, he thought he hit ball all the way. Take another look. What an addition this kid has been. So many things he does well. He's just great. He's super in the mid-range, but he's established a game outside. Great contributor. Inexperienced to an age. Transfer from Maryland. Sure the Terps wish he was still down there in Calix Park. A defensive player of the year to this kid. Greg Elliott is back. Tyler Kolick take a seat. He's a key guy, that kid. This is where the guy get Mitchell now to run the show. You got Elliott and experience in the backcourt with him. They held the number three score. So we're seeing all at seven points. There's some pressure by the hall. But Marquette really took the hit and responded beautifully. Marcel, nice he's knocked poke. away. Kale, numbers against him, going to go hard. Look and the block. What else do you need? Yeah, and a counter. And look at the run right out here. That's not a good pass. That didn't work out well. And the other takes over. On the move, foul on the play. And this hesitation dribble set that up for Kale. Fouls on Mitchell. Really can't get anything out of their defense. They have to make it easy. Who that's all. the problem right. for all. Right that's now, the clock, not the friend of Seen Hall. They got to get going here. Absolutely. I'm talking about Cam. This kid has been a terrific player. Really solid defender. He throw line so, so, but late in the games, he knocks him down. Then Jones back in the game. It was big at the Garden on Saturday. 66-61 over St. John's. 
Free throws make it 61-44. Pressure by the Hall. Got another runner in them, Dave. They're going to need it. Yeah. I, I think they got to go now when they don't have their point guard out there. The established point guard. This is going to be fine. Brett. Look at him come around that triple handle. Tell you what. Like, that is oh, just big time right there. But the goodness, the speed and strength to turn the corner. 27 points, career best. Adding to it. Get quit way outside. Harris, the shooter. Now look at the hand right there. They know he can do that. It's out of bounds. Yep. Oh, how long? What for the free seen that? Another turnover. Turnover number 12. Yep. Real struggle right now. They made a little bit of run. Do they have another one left? Hold on. Well, he's got a fabulous pass. He, he sure has a really solid understanding of what the coaches want, too. Yeah, Prosper, you mentioned earlier he was ambling. Yeah, he's a whole lot of minutes. Yeah. yeah, looks like he's running pretty good. Nice post up to. Defuse the D. The way he keeps the dribble alive. Paid for it. Get three guards in there to handle it. Stevie Mitchell in there now. Cam Jones and Elliott. Quick up front with Prosper. Look at the length of this shot. He has some range, this kid. Not afraid. On a bash. Hit his last two threes. Jackson has not had many shots. He got fouled on that play. And a nice screen off to let him get to the rim, too. Big oh, fella Ike. Only had one for two tonight. Perquet, that's his third. He'll leave, and Agadaro will return to the lineup. What a solid game. He sort of established the defensive end of the game, though. Quick. Yeah. Oh, first minute, first 30 seconds. Yeah. I mean, it was remarkable. If you're just tuning in, he had... Four blacks in what the first seven minutes. Extraordinary. Sort of diffused everything at the rim. Jackson transferred from University of Missouri, became eligible in December. It's at 6346. Clocks their pal. They don't have to be in a hurry. Under 10, they can get in motion. Unless you give him a good one early. Hot hand spin this guy right here. Jones nice on right to the basket. Two hand flush. How about that execution? Talk about deployment and being prepared for that matchup. 65-46. Look at this rotation defensively. A little bit late on the cover here. Harris the shooter and he hits. Jones was there though. But Harris with another triple. It's his third. He's got nine points. How are you? No. He held the rim, I think. Yeah. I think he had a bad landing or pulled something in his finger. Uh, just really a nice play. And sort of a little pin down to get Jones free and a nice roll here. Pretty chest pass. Simplistic, but effective. So, Gudaro. Looks like he's, yeah, he's done. They're gonna take him out, bring Quest back in. Get hurt on that last play. Kevin Willard was concerned about three-point shooting from this Marquette club, and boy, they're 10 out of 20. Fear, rightfully so, yes, right? in the fifth in the conference coming in. Richmond. And nice hands in the lane. There's another one, number 32. Thir 31, turnover. I should say. How yeah. many? 13th turnover. I meant deflections. I'm oh, sorry. Defle yeah. yeah, deflections, you're right. right. Look at this mismatch. He knows. Oh, I wouldn't have given it up. This is the only one to be careful about a chart. Look at that discard by him, though. Got to keep that arm in. Yeah. Again, out of bounds. <laughs> On the sideline, two trips, 65-49, the tournament resume for the Marquette Golden Eagles. What do you think, Bill? I'm uh, very impressed, really, because early in the year, 
Uh, Illinois, the K-State game is a good one. Obviously, West Virginia, anytime you beat them, and then you run the six in a row that you talked about during the course of the game. They have been impressive. Of course, losses, Wisconsin, UCLA, Xavier, uh, UConn is in Creighton. This has been really impressive this evening, that's for sure. Morcel with 13 on the shot clock. Well, that's a tough shot. But it's short. Got a guy about your size right on you. And you can get away with it when you're holding the lead like this. Mm -hmm. Tough shot. There there is. Is. Wow. The way he's going right yeah. now, they need to just wear him out. Let him fire little. away. Why he's not? got 12 on four threes. 13 points. Time taken off the clock. Jim Hall has one timeout left in the back in their pocket. Bullock outside Morcel. He loves that hook pass, doesn't he? Went with a hole. Wow. Just a slight little yep. hand rub. Enough to impede the yep. progress, though, right in front okay. of the ref. That was the call. That's his fourth. Look at Darwin coming back in. That's a good sign in terms of yep. his whatever happens physical well being. Whatever happens to him down in the other end, he shook it off. Mm -hmm. Four fouls on, on Queth. One one in effect. Richmond, a 75% shooter at the free throw line this season. Yeah, making them is important in terms of setting up your defense. An inch and closer again. Another transfer came in from Syracuse, averaged six points as a freshman up at the Cuse. A big thing for him up there was that front of the zone. He was very good deflecting. Almost two steals a game. So here you go, 65-54. Might be the last stand here for the ball yeah. here at home. Sounds like Lewis time. Yep. Mitchell. With the lead and killing time. Shot clock at 10. Give him a bump. And a little play. And Gadaro got hurt again. Harris, hot hand. Goes hard to the basket. Got Pretty. the layup. Needed it. The close out because he can shoot it. And right away, Marquette with the timeout. Well, look, he's really going after it. Oh, a couple of times. And when you make those, all of a sudden, you can explode to the rim, too, as he did earlier with a nice finish. And track that D and put it on the deck and get to the rim. 14 points. 11 in the second half. They've shown a lot, though, Seton Hall. We're talking about Aiken not being here, which I think is very important, the way they play. And yet these kids, uh, time in, time out, get in touch, see if they can get over that mountain right now and see if Gola can run the show. Under four, and they got it down to nine. Gola Jones. And going to that uh, matchup, excuse me, Dave. Igadaro and Lewis out there with Prosper. Lewis, it's a little hard to beat individually here. Kolek, that's what he loves to do. They stayed at home that time, Roden. There's enough so people four. around the rim to negate the Kolek. Four on the shot clock. See, he gets the call here. Got to get a hot hand with the Lewis and Jones who stroked the ball really well from Duke. I think, the, I think the problem on the inbounds is you may only have one option. I mean, the free guy. Obviously, you'd love to have Lewis, but here comes Jones. Nice oh, pass. Nice give and go. And he blew the left. What a reaction defensively. Richmond in a hurry. Where are you Turned going? it over. Good down. Scramble. Richmond gets it back. Oh, he had a good look at the pass. I like that. Harris. No, sir. I think Roden was smart, though. He's been struggling from deep. Harris didn't really get a clean look. And what a reaction defensively by Seton Hall. Roden, 5 for 16 from the field. I think you got to run your stuff with your Marquette. Three, Three minutes gets, to go. Can't get stuck delayed late in the shot clock. And this zone is at its impact. 
A lead at nine for Marquette. Prosper. Seven on the shot clock. Lewis, it's been his game. Tough shot. It didn't hit anything. It sure didn't. No iron. And yeah. Tolik knew it. Well, he does. He's smart. It. He's smart. <laughs> he said it did not get iron. Yep. Yeah. Turnover. So still some life here for the Hall at 2.41 to go. Well, they were two for four in the first half on free throws. Now they've got 16 free attempts, and that's what they got to do. Get to the rim. Who's your go-to guy? Harris is in the far right corner. Top mm -hmm. of your screen. You know, everybody loves the ball screen and pick and pop with Jackson. Screen and slip. Got to go and get the mid-range. Roden, top shot. With a foul from Lewis. Well, he is furious. His lower body may have gotten him, though. Second foul on Justin. Didn't have to foul because Roden really, really was stuck here. He initiated the first bump was by Lewis. The second, I thought, was Roden's attack. Big spots here for Roden. Seen Hall's made its last nine from the line. And of course, the announcer Jinx. <laughs> yeah. And he's a good free throw shooter, too. He is 82%. Biggest lead for Marquette, 21 points. Two of them. Ooh, we missed them both at the 225 mark. Well, they still are able to press, though. There's Kolek. And it's a prosper. That little post up. I just had to be alert here. Kolek. A high foul. Yep, Richmond as he made the turn going down the lane. He's really smart. Gave the ball up, hid the corner over here. They're good point guards. It always comes back to them. Gotta have a good one. And again, no Bryce Aiken. Concussion protocol out for an indeterminate time for Seton Hall. Big loss. That's Seton Hall. Foul. Marquette's going to oh, go for the nice line. Jump. Jackson. 14 on the shot clock. Still Boy, got time. Great read. Just didn't come up with it. Under two. Step back. Jones. No life. Still there for Seton Hall. Good check out. And then Harris cleaned it up. A couple shots here. And about 40 left on the clock. Good defense Ooh. by Marquette. Well, that was a sharp pass. Boy, this is good defense. Man. They need to get some shots off. Jackson, short. Way short. Out of, no, it was Roden. Kept it from going out of bounds. He'll fire from there. No, and a rebound goes to Lewis. And that's that's a too much. That was a good trip. Right there. Yep. Prosper doesn't need it. Sure does it. Well, he got it anyway. Thought he was going to dribble right through. That's what I thought. Yeah. They like his presence on Max. Experience, Clemson kid. And right here, I don't know if too many people are going to stop around the big fella. Well, they have responded, though. Taking some hits. First points for the Golden Eagles in the last 534, but they were really big by Prosper. Olivier Maxence Prosper. Out of Montreal, Quebec. Ooh, boy. Way short. 67 56 65 ticks left gotta go quick and go to the rim link it is free if you don't get a layup that's the guy that needs to shoot boy look at his defense a lot of denial tough shot and a foul on three Ooh. foul on jones Here's a look at the Seton Hall upcoming schedule at Georgetown. They got Creighton, Xavier, at Villanova, at UConn. Yeah, nothing easy in the league, no, no question about it. What a great year. It is sensational. And for Marquette, as you look down the road, first place Providence next up, then Villanova. How about that back-to-back -back? and yeah. UConn? And those three in a row with yeah. Chris Butler with a good win. Sometimes you get the joy of victory and get going a little bit. 67-58 with 52-4 left on 
the clock. Good timeout. Yeah, timeout call. This one, right? So that was the last Seton Hall timeout. Yeah, Dave is, is, is yeah. Bernard Toon, Jimmy Boylan. Good, this gracious. Good, Jimmy, a local kid here, too. Yep. They beat North Carolina that year. Yep, down in Atlanta. A steal by Richmond. That's huge. Boy, they're not giving up here. I love it. 50 seconds. Got it to a six point game. Not nobody back. This will be two. That is big. Now well, you're going to gamble. Bill looks so good at seeing the floor. Lewis didn't get a lot of shots. Oh, that's uh, a goal tech. Didn't get a lot of shots coming down the stretch here. He got him back in the game with those uh, threes in the second half. They did a nice job in terms of the matchup too, keeping yeah. away. Yeah, he beats right. one, somebody else is helping. What an almost a turnover here. Lewis, a career best, 27 points and six assists. 77 percent at the free throw line. He hit a dunk versus Providence this year. It was one of those you get out of your seat no matter which <laughs> whose living room you're in. Yeah. Uh, just so many things he can do. Runs the floor. Special nod to Kurt Queth, the big man. With seven block shots matching his career best. Here's Marcel back in the game. You know, you're right. He had his imprint on this game early. And nothing free at that 10. Here's Lewis. Field on his career best numbers. Well, he was player of the week. Do you think he might win it again? <laughs> he is making a bid right now with 30 points. That is a strong, strong line. He's got to do a better job passing the ball. Only six. Got the rebound. And he got fouled again. He's trying to get the ball out, trying yeah. to help kill some clock. Seven point lead. Had some fans expressing themselves. I'm just thinking, uh, if you hear anything adverse, folks, it's not Dave Sims. <laughs> 36 9 left on the clock. Well, you got to be have deaf ears if you're a referee. Uh, you? There's no question. Every night, three, four nights a week. Yeah, yeah no question about it. Kale gets a high arcing shot, rebounded by Lewis. They foul him and 26 6 left on the clock. Solid performance. Yes, indeed. This is back home in Wisconsin. You know, you'll love this. Bill, I was told by the great John Piquet from the Big East Conference that Shaka Smart was born 11 days after Al won the national title in 1977. Oh, that's a really good guy, huh? Well, I'm sure he's smiling and watching this team today. Tell you, the defense is, I think it can get a lot better with those shot blocking presence. You know, double edged center. This kid's got a beautiful stroke. Impact player for Mark Kett, no question about it. Coach, three consecutive nights working with you, loved it. Oh, First it time great. in two years, really. It's like the old days. Oh, huh? absolutely. The MAC tournament in oh, uh, all this little Saturday afternoon games. Good to be with you. Best of you and the family. You as well. Nice to see you back in the East oh, here. Nice to be back in the East, let me tell you. Marquette wins its seventh consecutive game. Very impressive fashion as Justin Lewis, the big star in the game, a 10 point victory for Marquette. 73 63, final score.